Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this open shot tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple YouTube subscribe button and animate it as well. So you get something like this where it animates at the beginning and then at the end it animate back out. And so the way we're going to do that is we're going to use this program called Inkscape. So this is a free and open source vector graphics program. So this is where we're going to be creating our YouTube subscribe button. However, you could use any other imaging program that you want. So the way you could get to Inkscape, you could do that two ways. So the first way is if you are already in OpenShot, you could come up here to Title, choose Title, and then use whatever template that you want, and then choose Use Advanced Editor, and that will bring up Inkscape. Now, I don't like this method because you always have to delete the template. And so my preferred method is to simply bring up Inkscape separately and create our design there. So once we have Inkscape up, the first thing we want to do is change the dimensions. So I'll go up here to File, Document Properties, and come down here to Custom Size. And under Units, I'm going to choose Pixels. And for the width, I'm going to choose 1920. For the height, it's going to be 1080. So now that we have our dimension set, we're going to go ahead and create our YouTube Subscribe button. And so the first thing I'm going to do is create the Subscribe text. So I'll choose this text right here. And then for my color, I'm going to choose black for now. Then I'm going to type in subscribe. And you could change this to whatever font or size that you want. I'm going to make this bold and make the size 100. Now we have our subscribe text. So the next step is to actually create our box. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this rectangles and squares. Now before I create the box, I'm going to choose red as the color. So here is our box. Now if you just want a rectangular box, you can leave it as it is. But if you want it rounded corners, you could come here to Rx, which is the horizontal radius of rounded corners. And you could increase the numbers to make the corners rounded. So in this case, I'm going to put 25. And so the bigger the numbers, the more rounded the corners are going to be. So that works. So now we're going to drag our subscribe text above the button. So we'll go ahead and choose this right here. Choose our text and put it here in our button. But if you notice, you can't see our text. So we're going to go ahead and change that by going up here and then moving up one step. So now it's on the front. And I'm also going to change the text color to white. And now we have our subscribe button. Now the next thing you could do is you could also group this together. We're going to highlight both of these, right click on our mouse, and then group. Now we can move it where we want and also adjust the size as well. So I think that works. So once you're done, you could actually export this as a PNG file. So we'll go to File, Export PNG. And what's really important here is you want to choose Page for the export area. And you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name it YouTube Subscribe. Okay. And we'll go ahead and export this. And so now we have our YouTube subscribe button and has a transparent background. Now if you wanted to save this project so you can use this for later, just go file, save as, and it is save it as a SVG file. So we now have our YouTube subscribe button and we could bring it into our project. So I'm going to go ahead and add this right here. And here is our YouTube subscribe button. And make sure you have either a video or image clip on your bottom track and our YouTube subscribe will be on the top track. So there is our subscribe button. So now let's go ahead and animate this. So the way that you can animate it easily is to use the built-in animate features. So if you go here and then you choose this, there's an option called animate. And so you can animate at the start of the clip. So we're going to do that. And we're going to choose zoom 50 to 100%. And so now when it comes in at the beginning, it's going to zoom in from 50 to 100%. And it will disappear at the end of this. And so we can add another animation at the end. But before I do that, I'm going to shorten this a little bit more. And then I'm going to come back to this right here. Choose Animate. And then end of a clip. And I'm going to choose Center to Edge, Center to Bottom. So we'll go back here. So there is our animation at the beginning. And then it'll go ahead and disappear at the end. So that's a real super easy way 
to not only create your YouTube subscribe button, but to also animate this. And you could play around with different animations. So you could go ahead and remove all animation. So let's just say I wanted to experiment with different types of animation. I could choose start a clip. Let's just say left to left to center. Okay, let's do that. Let's see how that looks. All right. And then when it gets to center, I can have it, let's say, disappear to the top. So we'll go animate, end of clip, center to edge, or maybe, yeah, center to top. Let's try that. Let's see how that looks. All right. There it is in the center. And then by the end, it'll disappear from the top. So that's really easy to use. And the reason why it's choppy here is because we are in open shot. But once you render this, it'll be a lot smoother. So that's the very easy way to animate your YouTube subscribe button using this built-in animation tool. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. However, if you wanted more control over your animation, you could do that as well. So let's go ahead and remove all of our animation right here. And we're basically going to be using keyframes. And so if you want to go to the beginning of your clip, you come here and then previous marker and then go here to go to the next marker. And so once you're here at the beginning, you're going to go back and choose this and then choose transform. So you'll notice that there's going to be boxes around your subscribe button or basically corners. So here you can adjust the size and also the position. So say, for example, I wanted this to come from the bottom okay so it's gone but then I want it to appear in the middle say like right here so now I'm gonna go ahead and move this back up there's my subscribe button and then at the end I want this to disappear to let's just say the left all right so let's look at that at the beginning So it comes up from the bottom, slowly but surely. And then it'll go ahead and move over to the left. So if we scroll in a little bit more, you could zoom in. You could either use the control and your mouse wheel, or you can use the zoom feature right here. Wherever these green points are, this is where you have your keyframes. So if you wanted this to be shorter, you can move things around. Uh, you could do this by going to properties if you want. So this is uh, the more, I guess, advanced or complex way of doing that. But if you want to do it visually, you could do that as well. And at any of these points, if you notice there's properties here, you can right click and you can remove keyframes as well, insert keyframe. So that's how you know whether or not you can add keyframes. But I like to use a simple method by basically using the transform. So if I wanted to go back to where it was before, you can just remove keyframe for all these dimensions and it'll remove the keyframe. And you could do it again at the beginning. Uh, you could either use the actual properties here or uh, you could do it visually by using the transform feature. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this again. So let's kind of start back at the beginning. So we're at, wherever you have these green spots, those are keyframes. So you could right click, remove keyframe. Let's go back to the beginning. And so here you could either put the dimensions in yourself. So in this case, if I wanted to put the dimensions in for X or Y, I can do that. So you can use this right here. So at the beginning, this is going to be at the bottom. Let's say, for example, let's say right here. Now I want it to appear right there. And then I want it to move over let's just say to the top okay so we'll go here and then I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the top and it's gone I'm gonna move this back so let's see if this works so we'll watch this again comes up continues go up and then it disappears and so you can experiment with this and just fine tune it the way you want. But this is the more advanced way of doing this. But it also gives you the most control. 
but you can also combine things as well. So let's just delete this and start over. I'm going to put this down here and I'm going to close this for now. So I'm going to go ahead and shorten this. So this is going to be a combination. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I'm at the beginning, choose animate, start a clip. I'm going to go ahead and zoom it like I did before. All right. And then at the beginning, or somewhere in the middle, you could actually add a keyframe here. So I'm going to add this whole free transform again. So I'm going to choose transform. And now I'm going to resize this and move it, let's just say, over here somewhere. We'll just get crazy. And then at the end of the clip, I'm going to choose another pre-built animation and the clip. Let's just say bottom to center again. All right. We'll go back, press play, zooms in. Then it's going to go to this position. And then it's going to go back down and disappear. So those are just some ways that you could actually animate your subscribe button um, from the simple templates, animate templates that's already there to using keyframes or using a combination of both. So that is my tutorial on how you could create a simple YouTube subscribe button and do animation as well. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or there's any other tutorials you want to see, be sure to leave them in the comments area below. And if you want to see more open shot tutorials and tips, I will leave the playlist in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.